Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Mr. Aid, and continuing my Vampire the Eternal Struggle deck boxing openings, I am this week we are looking at Ventru. So, the leaders of the Masquerade, or self proclaimed leaders anyway, if you are into the law. And seriously, go and check out the law of the, the World of Darkness. It is absolutely amazing. So, Ventru, so th these tend to be the leaders of um, Camarilla. So, their base disciplines are Dominate fortitude and presence so yeah let's have a, let's get into the box so 100 cards in the deck box so you've got your library cards which i'll come on to afterwards and then you've got so this is from the starter set so it's just got a seat in order here so if you want to randomize it and then a quick reference guide on turn orders the disciplines in the game different clans uh, blood pools then things about the camarilla and then we've got your 12 starting vampires. So these are from your crypt. And so they're part of the Camarilla. You can see that because I think the subtitles will probably look at have Camarilla here. And then you've got the disciplines down the left hand side, as well as the symbol here for the Ventru. So she's a prince of Nairobi. So seven. So she's quite old. So two copies of Alice Chan. Brock Sterling, relatively young vampire here with only three and only one discipline, which is fortitude. So you can tell he's big and strong. So he's got the fortitude to keep him alive. So Chelsea Blake, so four disciplines. So it's the standard three for the Ventru as well as celerity here. So she's going to be able to do some of the faster, quicker powers. Another prince. This is going to have an awful lot of votes in this deck looking at it. So because the prince gives you two additional votes in the you know when when you are trying to get some sort of new rules and laws through madison but uh just standard camera really here so but six power naomi five uh ashari i think that is so camarilla and then we've got another prince here prince of rotterdam with a special ability so you can unlock him uh after referendum is called by him and passes but you're going to get quite a few of the, I think, the referendums through off this deck because you've got quite a few princes in here. So another one and yet another prince. Yes, yeah, so you've got, what, four or five princes? So it's going to give you, if you get several of these out, a lot more voting powers to get a referendum through than others. Uh, and she has got bonus here potent. So she, that's going to make her stronger to pull off the, the sort of strength-based disciplines. OK, so that is the crypt. Let's have a look at the library itself. So, an art troublemaker. So, this is a master card. So, it's unique. Put the card into play. During your unlock phase, you can give control of an art troublemaker to your prey and either lock up to two vampires they control or burn equipment on one of them. That's a bit mean. <laughs> None of this game is friendly. I'm going to guess we're going to get an awful lot of political actions in this deck to run alongside the princes that we've got. So it's the first political action. So a su successful referendum means each method loser burns one pool for each minion they control. Um, so a modifier here, only usable during the polling phase. So, so if you've got the presence ability, you can get an extra two votes or, or even four if you've got it at the master level. Okay, we've got several of those just to help get your referendums through. Blood Doll. So put this card on a vampire you control. During the master phase, the vampire uh, control and moves one blood from this vampire from their pool or from a vampire uh, to another vampire. Conditioning, which is a dominate ability. So it's going to allow you to uh, bleed more successfully. Most vampires can only bleed at as a base of one. So this is going to give you up to two or three extra. Sorry, two or three in total, I should say. Uh, so we've got a modifier here. So vampires cannot block this action. This vampire takes two unpreventable environmental aggravated damage. Wow. So you force them to sit out in the sun. Aggravated damage is incredibly difficult, if not nigh on impossible to heal for a vampire. So deflection, only usable for a minion on the bleeding phase. So lock this reacting vampire, change the target of the bleed to another methaloser. <laughs> nice. So we should have, yeah, good amount of deflection. 
Uh, Enchant Kindred, so it's an action, so you can bleed direct onto another Metheluza. So, and you're going to get a bit of extra stealth with that if you do have the Presence ability. Okay, quite a lot of that. We're still going. Uh, Freak Drive. So, this is a modifier, and you're going to need Fortitude, only usable after an action resolution. So, if you've got the base ability, only usable uh, if the action was successful, and if you've got the enhanced part, Unusable if the vamp if it was blocked, and then you can get your vampire back as well. That's really handy. Hidden strength. So this is like ability allows you to uh, soak d additional damage. So they've got lots of votes. They're going to be hard to kill, and they can misdirect damage to other people as well. So a uh, master card. Allows you to transfer more blood quickly across vampires. Uh, take more additional bleed. Kind resource contested. So it's a political action. Allocate four points amongst two or more Methaloosers. Successful referendum means each Methaloosa burns one pool for each point allocated. Okay, that's a bit mean. I'll go to people a bit quicker. And there's lots of those. Uh, Majesty, which in the game, the role-playing game, this is the, the sort of top power of uh, the presence discipline. So you can strike with it to end. So you're basically using it to end a combat or you can end a combat uh, and unlock before the combat ends. Wow. So you can go into, you know, someone attacks you or, and you try, or try and attack one of your units and you, you're blocking. You can block and then still end that combat and then unlock your vampire to go again just out and out lock any minion so uh what's that priority shift so it requires a prince or just a car and we have a fair amount of princes up here to pull from so it's political action uh choose a methaloosa has a more pool than you and allocate three of their pool between two or more other methaloosas including yourself Thank you very much for that. Successful referendum means the chosen method loser loses that pawn and it's allocated as you choose. Uh, it's just going to take blood off people and you're going to move it pretty much to yourself. So being part of the masquerade, they do have, um, they rely on the six traditions within the role playing game itself. So we might see cards. So this is the second uh, tradition domain. So it requires a print or just a car again. And then you're just going to get an additional plus two intercept. Also usable by a locked prince or just a cart, even if the intercept is not yet needed. Um, to burn one blood, to unlock and attempt to block with two intercept. So we've got Uptown Hunting Grounds. So this is a unique master location to the event room. It's gonna, you're going to need to use two out of your main pool. But it'll give you a neat hunting location. So during your unlock phase, a ready vampire you control gains one blood. A vampire can gain blood uh, from only one hunting ground each turn. Ventru headquarters, unique location. Wow. Lock during the polling steps of any referendum to get plus three votes. They're going to get, with this out, you're just going to get every referendum through pretty much unless the other people on the table just gang up on you. Um, so visit from the Capuchin, is that, I would guess, unique. Put this card into play with four counters. You get plus one hand size for each counters on the card. Well, each time you would place a card other than this card, burn one tokens from your hands. So with this game, with the hand sizes, your standard hand size is seven. Uh, seven, you've got five, I haven't got seven fingers. Um, and every time you play a card, you instantly get to draw up. So this is going to move your hand side to 11 which is going to give you an awful lot to do and a lot of options on your turn. So voter captivation. So this modifies any usable during the resolution of a political action. This vampire gains plus one blood for each vote by which the referendum was passed. Wow. As above, but move up to two of those bloods to your pool instead of this vampire. I really want to play the vent through. They sound really, really fun. Uh, rake with an evening's fre freshness. Usable only by a locked vampire. 
do not replace it until your lock phase. So I guess you play it as a reaction on the, this vampire wakes. They ignore the requirements to be unlocked, play for the reaction cards and attempt to block until the end of the action. Okay. And then we've got Wider View, which is a master, which is trifle. It basically gives you an additional master card because you only have one out. Um, and this will allow you to have two. Uh, put this card into play. You can use one transfer to draw one card from your crypt and then remove one crypt card from your uncontrolled region for the game. You can use four tram uh, transfers to burn this uh, card and gain two pool. Interesting. So yeah, that's that's actually a really fun looking clan. Um, and I think on theme, perfect. You know, so that they are the vampires that you know they feel they're in control of the camera. And they technically are loosely. So they've got a lot of voting in here. They've got a lot of things to keep themselves alive by misdirecting damage and ending damage and controlling other people. And so I say, lots of votes as well. So, so yeah, that's that's Clan Ventru, which is it's a great looking clan. Um, don't know whether I want to play this more than the Gangrel now, but um, but that's it. That's my quick. Uh, unboxing and go through of Clan Ventru. So I'll be going through all the clans available in the game. So if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to watch more of these, please do subscribe to the channel and help it grow. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.